Greetings everyone in the name of Jesus. Welcome back. And uh, this day is the day that the Lord has made and we'll rejoice and be glad in it. God will go beyond what you have put on that prayer card. Whatever you have asked God to do, he goes beyond that. And I want you to stretch yourself. I want you to stretch your faith and see something great coming in your life. Do not limit God through your limited expectation. God's supernatural power on your natural. God is releasing his supernatural power over your natural. The supernatural on your natural. You know what that can do in your life? Great things begin to happen. Breakthroughs begin to fall into your hands. There's nothing that can stand against the power of God. You pray and seek the Lord so that his supernatural hand can take over that situation. And that's what he's doing right now. You have done all you can, and now God says, I'll go beyond what you have asked. Do not limit him. Do not give in to fear. There's nothing God cannot do. Hallelujah. Now unto him who is able. God is able to handle that situation. He is able to do more than what you have asked him right now. He knows what is best for you. In Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, we see God declaring this into our lives. He's a good father. He's doing all this because he's a good father. And I don't want you to limit him because of your unbelief. Looking at other people testifying and you are saying to yourself, I'm not one of them. Why is God so silent? He's going beyond what you can ever imagine or think. Beyond what you have seen before. Refuse to be discouraged. Refuse to see only the negative. Reject that spirit of dwelling on what is not working. When the eyes of Elisha's servant were opened, he saw something. He said, I see chariots of fire. What do you see? May the Lord open your eyes right now to see what he's doing, to help you sense, because God is lifting you above that situation. The Lord is doing it right now. And this is not the time to be discouraged. You are breaking forth on every side. The path of the just shines brighter and brighter till the perfect day. Until that breakthrough is perfected, until your testimony is perfected, do not settle for something that is incomplete. Oh, at least I have something. No, God perfects our gifts. God makes sure that our testimonies are perfected. And this is the time you will rise and say, God is going beyond what I've written on this prayer card. What I asked him in this Esther fast, he is going beyond that. I came to encourage someone here because you might think nothing is happening. Something is happening. The supernatural on your natural takes you higher, takes you to greater heights in life. And it's you to dwell in that secret place even more, to wait upon him because he's trustworthy. He is more than able. Now unto him who is able. Not anyone else, no power anywhere is able. The enemy is faking everything. And you have to be careful this time. Open your eyes because the enemy's packaging is on as well. And you might think this is God. God might not even be there. And to him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly beyond what we can ask him nor think. And to him be all the glory. Hallelujah. At your own time, I want you to go and read 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 8 to 23. This is a story of Elisha and his servant. When the servant started to get discouraged, he was scared. You might see nothing right now, but pray that your eyes be opened, your spiritual eyes be opened, so that you can see what God is doing in your life. If you could see what he is working on right now, you jump, you celebrate, you worship him, you fall down and worship the king. Now unto him who is able. Let all glory and praise be unto our God. He has been faithful. He is always faithful. I came to give you this word that is going beyond what you have asked him. Whatever you wrote on that prayer card and lifted those prayer requests unto God, your expectation will not be cut off. Like Elisha's servant, 
screamed and said, I see chariots of fire. Your faith has eyes. And that's why the Bible says, the just shall live by faith because we see things before they actually happen. Not with our physical eyes, but you can sense it in your spirit. You can be praying and feel great about that situation and say, God has taken over this situation. I know my breakthrough is here. And what you do next, you say, I see my breakthrough. I can see God doing wonders in my life. I can see God releasing my blessing. My children are coming back. Hallelujah. That opportunity is given to me. My body is healed and I have opportunities. My career is taking off and I'm expanding and enlarging on every side. My spiritual work with the Lord is perfected by him. Hallelujah. I see, I see what God is doing. I can see and I cannot be discouraged. Once you see it, there's no way you can be discouraged. Don't give in to fear especially after you've prayed and sought the Lord. Do not give in to discouragement, overwhelm, and everything you see and you say, someone got a breakthrough before me and God is not working on mine. God is working on yours and he'll surprise you this month in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've been encouraged and uh, take time to encourage others because that's the seed that you plant into your own life. And as you do that, many lives are impacted and God is pleased. If you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, take time to do so because you are being part of spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. Continue commenting, share your testimonies, and may the name of the Lord be glorified. Stay blessed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.